<laughs> I'll take it to acting. So I'm an actor, right? I'm an actor. Um, if I'm in a, a scene in a movie and I have to smack a girl's butt, right? Because where did the scene cause? I smack her butt. And that's it. Just got to smack her butt. Adana, I would talk to her about it. She may be okay with it. Maybe not, but she would talk to me about it. But if I had to do it, it wouldn't be explosive to her. If she's in a movie yeah. and some dude got to smack my wife's behind, that's a big deal. Yeah. That's not happening. There's no other dude smacking my wife's behind. <laughs> no way. It's, same with the whole, like, the, the Chris Brown thing. Like, you know, obviously this is a now a step up from that. But, like, if there if there's a picture, same, same situation. If there's a picture, let's say you have a, a female friend, long lost female friend. Let's say, and remember, this is a friend, right? She comes up, jumps up. Hey, Mario! But she jumps up. You're not expecting it, but she jumps up, gives you a hug, and you're like, it may be uncomfortable, but that happened, right? Okay. And then she gets down, and your wife is like, that's, what's going on? That's not, you know, you need to talk about that. If some, if your wife ran up on some dude nah. and jumped on him nah. and wrapped her legs around, I'm, I, that's huge for me. Why is it such a big difference in your opinion? Or first of all, do you agree with what I'm saying? And if you do, why do you feel that is the case? The difference of the level of how men see those actions versus how women can more more accept those type of actions? Well, I think we have a code, an unspoken code among men. And there's checkpoints to this thing. And you really gonna, you gonna cross, if you gonna cross that checkpoint, then that means this. And this checkpoint means this. And I'll be honest with you, and this is a generalization, I think, but I think it, I don't think a lot of women respect each other, right? Like, I don't know that we necessarily have to like each other as men. Wait a minute, let that sink for a second. Let that hold for a second. Because when you're talking about a code, we're talking about men, and we have a code of respect yeah. towards each other. And you just said you don't feel women have that same code of respect amongst each other. No. That's interesting. I think history has shown us that um, in any patriarchal system, that men have this feeling of dominance and this feeling of power over certain things. And women in history and time have been in subservient roles. And there's been, the, you know, the cult of true womanhood. There's been this emergence of women now coming into themselves and speaking out about certain things. But I think there is that domestic quality about many women that causes them to suffer in silence and not speak up about it. Whereas men, we are a lot more vocal. Yeah. And so if I feel disrespected, I'm going to say it. Whereas that woman will hold on to it, hold on to it, and hold on to it. And um, what I find powerful is that um, women are finding their voice and that they are speaking up about certain things. But that code that you talked about, Mario, is deep. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much that's unsaid that we just know as men. And, you know, history has shown us that wars have happened. <laughs> Nations have been <laughs> over slight, yeah. you know, you know um, disrespects and um, inappropriate affections. And so um, as we've evolved and sexuality is now something more this, that, and the other open, I feel like, again, men, we are very strong on where we stand and that women are coming into their voice. And I think that, um, especially from a spiritual standpoint, that there's so much that we can put as barriers to help us rem um, keep the sanctity of relationships um, and just say, hey, you know, let's do this. Let's not do this um, because this world is going crazy. You know, there are married people that are even looking for other married groups. Now, a lot yeah. of them, like the world is going crazy, but thank God that we have a foundation of the word and there are a number of things that we can do to help us keep that spiritual side of it, that code, um, in front of us and relevant, whether we're man or woman. Yeah, I, you know, I, I agree that men, we do have a code. I also think that there are some men who just don't care that there's a code and will Most e certainly. easily cross that line. Mm -hmm. So in the, like, let's say in the, um, the event that like my wife would jump on someone, uh, don't, don't, wrap your legs around no one, but to jump on someone and you know, there's a, an embrace, there's a hug. It just depends on who the man is. I don't know, you know if I, mean? I believe you drove no, through right. Unless it's right. your daddy or uncle or something. No, like, it, and they're, they're probably like a, a super small handful, maybe like one, two, three, I don't, I don't know. Two, th three men that 
it, it just depends on my relationship with that person. But there are, I have friends who I know, if given the chance, they would cross the line with my wife. I, I know that. Have mercy. Mm. I know that. Mm. Maybe. But so if it were one of those friends, nah. Help. Oh, I can't. <laughs> this is Sunset Friday. I'm sorry. Live. You said help him. 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 Yes. <laughs> Ain't happening. And I think my wife is. She's definitely wise enough to know that. But if there's like a, I, I can't even imagine like you know what the situation might be. Maybe a person, I don't know. Just, just haven't seen him in 20 years. I don't know what it is. I trust my wife to make those decisions, um, you know, about those kinds of things. But generally speaking, I agree. Like, yeah, don't don't do that. Um, that just kind of generally crosses a line. That uh, you know, I can't yeah, yeah. I can't think of a soul that I would think it's okay for her to drink. Like, I don't Not care if she around. ain't see her no. in any. Like, it don't care if her legs are dangling. Like, if her <laughs> arm is around his neck and she holding on tight and he holding her and he looking over her shoulder at me like. <laughs> that's, not, that's not gonna work. Glory to God for good times, big laughs. The godly life we strive. Turn it up for the king right here. On Sunset Friday Live. Let's go.